Hello, this is a little 12 volt miniature uh, air compressor that I had uh, from Canadian Tire. The hose here actually it came, it got a hole in it, so I decided to hack this thing to make it in, instead of a compressor, to make it into a vacuum pump. So I want to use it as a mechanism to transfer wine from the primary carbo or primary fermenter to a carboy. So to do that, I need to make it into a vacuum versus my other one, which is a positive pressure, but it doesn't work the other way around. So here's a grease zerk. I'm going to drill it out, and it just happens with this head here. There's a, the inlet uh, valve here is right here, so it's just a little ball. It just happens the head seats perfectly on there, so I'm going to epoxy it, and uh, then I'm going to put a quarter inch tube on it. So uh, yeah. So uh, that's the cylinder, here's the piston and uh, crank, and uh, then I'm going to convert it from a 12 volt uh, for a car to a 12 volt transform that can be put in a 120 volt uh, household outlet, so that's my plan. Okay. okay, here is the top of the head of the air compressor, and right there is the ball for the intake valve, so now I'm going to put the grease zerk where it's been drilled out. I drilled out the, the ball there and I'm going to seat it on top of there and epoxy in and uh, here's my epoxy it's actually from Mexico I got it like 16 17 years ago I tried out still works so I'm going to try to epoxy that in and then uh, then I can put a quarter inch tube over top of it to make my vacuum so here we go okay I uh, assembled everything back together um, I found my little transformer from another piece of electronics that whatever is uh, I usually keep the transformers when I throw something out so this happens to be like 13.5 volts and it's one uh, amp put out for DC uh, that's not a big issue because uh, really a car puts out uh, around that anyways with the alternator so I so I rigged it up I checked the polarity on the the multimeter so I, I figured it all out and I uh, just right there I kinda just put clips on so that's what it is right there you can read that I'm not sure anyways this is a, a test here I uh, got it in the vise in the wood just to hold it but uh, we'll see um, everything works fine it's got good suction and it's got good pressure um, so now I just got to modify the cover and make a hole for the for the line to go through uh, it really doesn't have a spot for it so I'll just take the gut die grinder and uh, make a little opening for it so everything works here so good so far the hacks pretty good okay so here we go here's the final product here's my quarter inch tube hooked onto the inside onto that little uh, grease circ I flipped upside down and epoxied it still can be used as a compressor, I'll just leave the line on. Um, so there's my uh, 120 outlet. I also made uh, clips for the 12 volts, so this is either uh, 120 or 12 volts. So basically it doubles as air compressor, vacuum pump, carboy transfer pump, you name it. So I'll uh, show in action. Okay. Here's the vacuum test. Here's uh, the hack of my air compressor and adapted it to a vacuum and uh, switch it over to 120. Uh, so here it is going to the carboy, so I'm going to create a vacuum inside the carboy. Line's coming all the way down here. I still have to buy another uh, siphoning rack, uh, you know, the, the cane, because uh, that kind of coils over. But anyways, uh, I'm going to try it out here. Here we go.